I have owned my Tesla Model 3 for four months now. I have taken it on a long road trip and use it day to day going to work and back. On this video, I will talk about what I like, what I don't like about this vehicle. The good, the bad, and the ugly. What's going on guys? Figure it's time. We are due for a four month update of what it's like owning the Tesla Model 3 SR. I have put 4,164 miles onto the car. I took it to Vancouver, Canada once on a round trip. Just been going to work and running around the city, running my errands. What have I done with the car maintenance wise? Only thing I've done was to refill the windshield washer fluid. Two months from now, when I hit 6,000 miles, I'm gonna need to get the tire rotated. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that one as well. In regards to simply just how the car has been, the operation of the vehicle, the smoothness of the ride upon owning the car for four months, I could tell you two things that I found as a problem. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. So day one, on delivery day, before even taking delivery of the vehicle, I noticed that the rear speaker on the passenger side actually was not working at all. There was no sound coming out of it. So right away, I told the Tesla people, I need that fix. And so three days later, after taking the car home with me, they actually sent a technician and they fixed it right at the comfort of my own home. So the process on setting that up is very easy. It was all done on my Tesla app and they fixed it right away. It turned out the actual problem was they simply not plugged the actual wire. Um, so it was not, there was not any material that was not functional. They In regards to the actual performance of the vehicle, uh, the vehicle has been smooth. Um, in regards to the charging port, this thing has worked flawlessly. There has not been any problem um, at all whatsoever. I did scratch my uh, wheels onto the curb one time. Obviously, it would not be this one. It would be the other side, and I'll show you. Right here. So I did scratch my wheel right there, if you can see. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. it looks just fine, it's very minimal. So it's just kind of one of the things that happen um, owning, a, owning a car, you know, when you have to park outside by the curb. The vlog is not about um, me accessorizing the vehicle. I have another vlog for it. If you notice, I have done some changes with the mud guard over here. I installed that myself and the red seats of course the yoke um, let's talk about the actual wireless charging so this is a wireless charger for your smartphone and i have an otter box um, for my iphone and it works perfectly 100 percent of the time i have not had any problem with it whatsoever so that's wonderful another thing that i noticed um, with this vehicle is that this part right here is starting to show some discoloration. I don't know what the cost of that is, but I'm going to need to basically bring that up to Tesla as for the reason why um, it's looking like that. It doesn't look normal and it will have to get that fixed with Tesla. Another problem that I noticed second week into owning the vehicle is the rear passenger door does not shop properly. Um, I think that was a perfect demonstration. I just shut the door as normal and it did not shop perfectly right here. So in my opinion, I feel like this right here, there's a portion in here, uh, this material uh, part of the door that needs to get adjusted. So I will need to set up a service appointment right on the comfort of my app on my phone 
to get this problem fixed. I will be doing that very soon. So yeah, so basically on the right door on the back, you kind of have to push it stronger than you normally would. And that's the problem with it. So let's evaluate the car. Four months, do I like it? Absolutely, I like it a lot. Um, do I plan on keeping it for a while? Sure, um, I intend to keep this car for at least five years until I grow out of it and um, move on to the next one. Um, I'm enjoying the vehicle's ride day to day. I have the standard range, which gives me well, Tesla claims 272 miles, but in reality, you are probably um, gonna get a little over 200 miles depending on weather condition and depending on how you drive and all those factors. So overall, just working daily, going to work and coming back home, it's fine. Like even on road trips, Tesla has so many Tesla superchargers all over the state of Washington and Oregon that it is not a problem on a road trip because you have so many selections of superchargers to charge. There's one every 20 or 30 minutes off of I-5. Let's see what else I want to cover. Performance. Performance has been exceptional. This car still rides just the same since I picked it up on, uh, on day one. So the smoothness and the performance of this vehicle has been very good. Two things that I had a problem with was the door on the right side, which I will need to get adjusted, and the speaker, which they fixed three days after me telling them on day one since when I picked it up. So overall, I only did one thing for maintenance of this car, and that is refill the windshield washer fluid, which I'm actually going to show you so let me pop the trunk i mean not the trunk let me pop the front that will be the front trunk guys and show you how i did that like one of the best things about tesla is that it's very minimalistic it's super easy to maintain so i'll go ahead and um open the front right there oh how did you get in here let me get this thing out of there so this right here is the lid or cover of the windshield wiper fluid that you um, refill. Um, I ran out three months after using the vehicle. So you just pop it open and fill it in with the washer fluid. And of course, you want to use a funnel. Um, that way you don't spill all the washer fluids. Pop, pop the hood and you palm it to close it properly. Just like that. Um, so I think there you have it guys. Let me give you another tour. In regards to the actual headlights um, and the rear taillights of the Tesla, most people have been having problems with water accumulation inside of the headlights or the brake lights in the back. I was kind of worried about that um, since I live here in Washington and it rains a lot. Like most of the time, people will have water accumulation, water droplets in here. And if it's anything excessive, you're gonna wanna call Tesla and get that fixed. And they cover that with their warranty uh, within five years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I put this spoiler myself. I mean, I thought it looks really nice. i show you on the side view. So if you have any problem with the brake lights or the tail lights with water accumulation, call Tesla up. Um, I live in Washington where it rains a lot. The winter condition is moderate, but I have not had any problems. So I'm glad I didn't have to deal this with that. This coloration of this material running through the car. The problem was the door. If I were to shut it, it worked that time. But um, in many cases, it doesn't work. You have to like push it stronger. So I will need to get that fixed with Tesla. There you have it guys. I hope you enjoy my video. I wanted to take you on what it's like owning the Tesla. So overall, even though that discoloration kind of bothers me, like I'm still going to roll with it. I will I'll tell Tesla and update you guys, see what they can do to fix it. So until next time. All right, let me finish the video right here. Better view. If you'd like me to vlog about a particular subject, please let me know if you have any questions. 
comment it below. And until then, I'll see you in the next episode. Adrian out. Peace. Oh, and by the way, another thing that I wanted to cover before I end this blog, guys, is electricity cost. Now, when you first buy a Tesla brand new, they give you a six months of free supercharging. So you could take it to any Tesla supercharger for free. At least that was the case when I bought mine four months ago. So, and typically if you buy one with a referral code, um, you will get one. I'm not sure if that's still the case. So if you do buy a Tesla, please use my referral link below. The place where I work at allows me to park at a particular electric vehicle spot that gives me free charging while I'm working eight hours a day, five days a week. So that's another benefit that I enjoy owning a Tesla for that matter. And that made my decision on buying one a lot easier. So when my Tesla supercharging promotion expires, it's coming up in two months, I will blog more about the cost of supercharging, the cost of my electricity bill when I do charge it at home on the weekend and things of that nature. So I'll cover that up on the next vlogs. Thanks for watching as always. Thank you guys, Adrian out. Peace.